Well, hello there, you two. Look at them four dogs. Kelly gives them their little treats in the morning. There's Sashi Annie. Probably done devoured theirs. But welcome to Tuesday, the 5th of January. And look at this. For the first time in days, able to come out here and not be poured on. And uh, the flood of, of Toledo has subsided. <laughs> Last night, there was still water back there and in the front, front lawn. In the little low spots, it's all gone. It's all gone out of the field in the back as well. well anyway, let's start off a Tuesday. Hey there, Mama. Hey there, Well, there, little woman. <laughs> With your little banner danner on, you look yeah. cute. <laughs> it's Tuesday. And it's not raining. We will take it. But I guess the rain's coming. Yeah. Enjoy it while it's not. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Have a wonderful Tuesday there, young woman. You too, All righty. I'll see you in the passings. All right. All right. Love to see you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So I was upstairs getting a cup of coffee and passed Kelly. And she was getting a cup of coffee. And she goes, did you ride that K1600 yet? And I go, no. She goes, you better do it sooner than later because the rain is a coming. I go, oh, okay. <laughs> so here we are. A1600 in hand. This is the uh, the mix, mix match trunk. Wow, this thing's got a low seat on it. My knees are almost hitting my uh, my chin. Man, that is a squatted, and it seems like it's really forward too. <laughs> That's got a weird feeling, actually. I don't think I've ever ridden one with a seat like this on it. Oh, the lovely K1600s. So I opened up that uh, Lego kit for the Harley Fat, Fat Boy. Holy moly, it says it's 1,023 pieces. It looks like 4,023 pieces. When I was looking through that, I'm thinking, boy, all them little tiny pieces, you better do one step at a time. And then <laughs> thumbing through the uh, comments when I had a little break and uh, waiting for some files to upload to the iPad to start my edit for the night. Somebody's going, make sure you do bag one until all the pieces are gone before you go to the next. I'm thinking, yeah, that would be trouble if you did that any other way. So that looks pretty cool, man. I, I, I really didn't think it'd be that, that much, that much stuff to do. So that'd be fun. I didn't see anywhere in there where the PDI checklist and, you know, where I got sign off that, you know, I rode it and confirmed that the bike was road worthy. <laughs> and somebody somebody else commented and I'll have to look into that that uh, banggood.com <clears throat> has a lighting kit for it I'm gonna have to look into that that'd be kind of cool oh. <clears throat> got a couple little pitter pitter bulls yeah. avoid the water holes here if you can Ooh, this thing feels very lively I guess it is K1600. They got they got some uh, torque and horsepower numbers. I've always said it'd be cool if they made a some whether it be a sport cruiser or some kind of a hooligan sport bike with this motor in it. That'd be cool. Whew, that'd be a monster. But it would be one of those impractical things, you know, it just, it'd be crazy heavy and like insane amount of power. I wonder if they would detune it or anything. 
man this motor and a light bike or a light chassis you know without all the stuff on it would be whew, that'd be fun though <laughs> heck of fun mm, that new smell rolling off of it So the tires for the DR, I, I mentioned that yesterday, but uh, I think I touched on it quick. On my uh, 1993 DR650, when, uh, when I purchased it, it was a trade-in. This was in 2000. Howdy, that's my buddy. There she is, all bagged up. Trying to weather the storms, but uh, w when I purchased it, it uh, it had they were they weren't called Enduro Three Sierras at the time. Yeah, they had a different name, same exact same tread pattern, everything. It's the same tire. They just everything's got to have a name to it now. You can't just call it a ME Thirty Three or whatever the heck that thing was called. I was thinking about turning there, but uh, at any rate, they're now called Enduro 3 S Saharas, and uh, not cheap at all, them tires, although the vendor we're getting them from has them on sale at the moment, so I'm getting a, a better than usual price, because we sell tires at 10 or 15 over cost all tires well 10 over cost is employee cost so but sometimes you can look online and find them cheaper but it needs to be from a very reputable place because we've had so many in fact it's so it's so bad that uh, we no longer mount tires that weren't sold by us because we get people buying them offline and even though they're a name brand um, they're flawed I don't know how these people are getting these I think basically rejected tires and uh, and these things end up online but uh, yeah we've we've had some issues with that and you know but, another thing you know people getting used tires and come to find out the tires been patched or plugged and yeah it's just for we're a big place and we're an easy target for a lawsuit so anything like that I mean it's unfortunate for customers because some people just you know doing the right thing or they had some old tires or whatever but age the tires can't be over five years or four years old and they have to be, you know, purchased from us now. It's, that's a whole nother story about all that, all that stuff that goes on. And that's, everybody's doing that nowadays too. You know, it's just kind of goes along with that, you know, bikes over 10 years kind of thing. Parts availability. The opening up a can of worms and you end up with a bike that never goes home unhappy customers because you can't fix it because you can't get parts it just the list goes on and on of reasons why all that is most most people understand it a lot of people don't and i'm sure i'll even get comments oh that's a crap a crock of crap and blah 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 whatever dude you're not in the business we see the worst side of it and uh in the winter time we've <laughs> we literally have motorcycles here we'll get weak and bypass that rule and uh the, yeah it's it's a bad deal oh, dang it i missed my turn again so i've already discussed all that the tires those tires were on that dr and even when they were wore out they performed phenomenally well in the dirt and on the road they are probably the truest 50-50 tire I've ever ridden on. 
you can read they're not perfect it uh, obviously it's not going to replace a a knobby and obviously it's not going to replace a replace a street tire but for a dual sport tire um crazy road performance and it shouldn't work this good dirt performance so when those wore out you know i was shocked at the price this was on the 93 and this was i don't know in 05 06 somewhere in there i needed a new set and i'm like what how much i'm like no way i'm not paying that much for them tires you know so shinko's had just come out i think it was the shinko's kelly goes well i don't think the shinko was around back then but i don't know they were one of those ones that make an exact copy literally an exact copy of those metzler tires and a parts guy talked me into those things and i bought both tires for less than the price of well the front tire the front's the cheaper of the two for less than the price of one metzler i i got both tires literally the worst tires i've ever ridden on scared the heck out of me on the street and um and we're absolutely it was like riding on a street tire in the dirt there was no traction and then no traction they were bad in every way really bad and uh i even ended up selling that that bike to a private party and um i even told the guy i says look these things look new they're actually got x amount of thousand miles on them and been ridden a lot and i said but here's the thing they're so hard they don't wear out they'll last you forever i'm just trying to think of a place outside here to how does how's my is that thing all rain soaked back here Let's see if i can get a photog of this thing somewhere i'm looking for a place to take a picture of this thing <laughs> oh yeah i'll take a look But yeah, those Metzlers, they're expensive. And uh, even at my cost, which is uh, down a little bit because the the vendor we're getting them through has them on sale. Oh, look at that. I mean, literally goes all the way through. I don't think I see anything I like back here, though. Take a picture next to the dumpster. That, that'd be less than cool. But, um... That's what they're they're on order. One's in Nevada and the other one I forget where. It's not ones we stock. And before you go rushing out to get yourself some Metzler Enduro 3 Saharas, very limited sizes. Um, yeah, there's only one front and there's two sizes for the rear. So it's a very limited range of bikes they fit. So if you have a DR650, I think it's the same as a KLR650, and you want an amazing 50-50 tire, take a look at those. But like I say, very limited size range. You know, they've got the, they got some newer ones. They got the Carews and what's this other one? It's kind of an 80-20 tire, which I probably should get because I, I spend way more time on road than I do anything else. You know, if that thing just had a little different, less green and a little more gray like that, that would actually look good on there. So we got the, uh, the fans to function, so we know that works. I think I'm just gonna leave it downstairs because that would look weird sitting on the showroom. You know what? I'm gonna slowly go through this water and clean off the any gravel I just picked up right there. Who says a K1600 can't be an ADV bike? I say let's do it. <laughs> Can you imagine getting this thing stuck out in the woods somewhere? Holy moly! Alrighty. Thanks for coming along for the K1600. We didn't even get a drop from the sky. That was very nice. <laughs> All right.
So I've ordered a part for Kelly for something we don't even own yet. Some bark busters for the for the Himalayan. Oh, I've been using my um, GoPro USB-C thing for my MagSafe thing for my iPhone 12. So I, I broke down and bought the official Apple one. Pretty cool, huh? Really inexpensive, but there's almost zero wind deflection off of that thing. Maybe I should look a little closer. I might have to get her some of those, what you call them, gators or whatever those things that go over, deflectors. Got something nice to bolt them onto. How about that? Well, little woman, not only did that rainstorm not come, it's completely dry. And it's 53 degrees out there. It feels yeah. like a spring evening. You crazy man, it's cold. Man, 50. Oh, yeah, there's 50 there. I just seen that go. Look, and now it went to 54. It's It went 52, then 53, now it's 54. Right. It likes the warmer temperatures. It does. All right. All right. Let's head for the hills. <laughs> All right. Well, hello there, you two. Dogs all say hello as well. Mm -hmm. Barking and carrying. Yeah, what you guys think every night and hearing all them hear all them hold on. About to drop the daggum camera there. <laughs> Dogs all carrying on. I think some of you I think I've heard several of you comment, go, oh, I love hearing the dogs in the background. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if well, you can call that dogs or a chaos. A, that gum dog pound petting yeah. zoo or something around here <laughs> got a couple of them yeah. that was nice i got to ride a k1600 that was actually enjoyable taking it for a ride sparky coming across setting lights off all over the place yeah it goes oh they're here doesn't set that one off it's skithered he slithered yeah he's too close but um that was a good day most of the day was dry and it was dry most of the way home and the last few miles before we took the exit to come out this way been raining and just never stopped raining. I know. And we had some body just literally tailgating us in some Mercedes SUV the whole, literally from the freeway all the way we turned off to come down to our house. Oh yeah. Just right on us. There was no peace in our little country setting. <laughs> <laughs> the lights were bright and no good place to pull over and let them by, you know. But anyway, I think on that, we're just going to roll the heck on out. All righty. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for all the comments. Lots of nice comments, but... A chance cool. to sit down and click through and say howdy do bat. I'll get to you eventually. Yes. <laughs> but it is appreciated. Oh, very much. Yes. Love love reading those things. I try to answer some of them as I'm going along in the videos, you know. I try to anyway. Alright. We'll right. see it. you in the morning. In the morning. Thanks for watching. Okay, take care. Bye bye now.